Welcome to 2K Sports. We've got live NBA basketball headed your way on this fine Wednesday afternoon. Alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll talk to Ali LaForce, who's on the sidelines as well. Here's Wade. The crossover. Oh, man. Oh, punch that was. Bad mm. intentions. Mm. Mm. And the double clutch jam wows the crowd. Here's Drexler. From beyond the arc and then some. This is encouraging to see from Drexler wanting to space the floor more with his outside shooting and doing so there. Pass to Rice. Out to the right wing. Here's Wade. Shot clock at three. Fires the three. Miller can't get it to go. Excellent use of his physical gifts. Goes up strong and captures the board. And one of the more imposing guys at the center position, Joel Embiid. As unique a player as we've got in the league in terms of his size. Just mammoth. And his agility and skill level. So special for a guy of his size. His production is absolutely crazy. Perennial MVP candidate now and perhaps for several years to come. And the jam by George. Look at how high George gets off these drives to the hoop. Banging it down with the violence of a madman. Now here's Wimbanyama. They set a pick. The shake. Misses off the left iron. And Embiid has got the ball here for Chicago. It's George with the drive. There's the drive. Here's Drexler. The long distance three is Barry. Drexler's got six. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Wimbanyama scanning the floor. Joel Embiid with the board. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. George outside. And the jam by George. Really difficult to contain Paul George in these pick-and-roll sets because of his speed. I mean, that's one element that gives him a great advantage. He's really good at making decisions in tight spaces and in these pick and roll situations. That was a smart pass by Wade that time. George has the open look. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Here's Wade. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. George outside. Pass to Embiid. That's tipped. Outside Wimbanyama. Matumbo. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. What a smart pass from Wimbanyama. Already adept at scanning the floor and finding open teammates. Just knifing his way to the rim. He looked practically unstoppable on that play. Strong interior move, aggressive, and assertive, and effective. Great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Yeah, highly efficient, nothing extra special there. Just effective. Pass to Kirilenko. Here's Eden. They set the pick to the paint. Down to five on the shot clock. Typical unselfish play that time by Drexler, taking the opportunity to get it to the ready shooter. A chance at a two-for-one if they'd like. And I really can't see why they wouldn't. 
Here's Rice. George defending. Pass to Wimanyama. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And with the eight-foot wingspan of Wimbenyama, it feels like he releases the ball halfway to the bucket. And both free throws good for Wimbenyama. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. George drives in. Out to the right wing. He buries it from three. George continuing to become a better passer. That's one area that's clearly improved over his career. Here's Wade. Left side, Wimbenyama. Let's it go from 14. Paul George, he's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for Chicago. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Chicago. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. Another area they've excelled in is the points in the paint. They've been able to gouge the interior defense so far in this one. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. And so it's Simmons with it. He brings it up for Chicago. Five-point lead, biggest of the game. Amari Stoudemire, first personal foul, first team foul. Wimbanyama screen. Here's Rice. And an intentional foul right there. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. Oh, Wimbenyama throws it down. Yeah, terrific follow through from Wimbenyama, proving he has a good head on his shoulders. Pass to Irving. Outside Gilgis Alexander. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That's his first foul. First team foul. Now Gilgis Alexander. Clock at six. Here's Gilmore. Here's Stoudemire. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Great admiration for Stoudemire's athleticism. you got to be aware of it now because he'll get to the air and throw it down to earth. Connects from downtown. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Outside Irving. Launches a three. Can't hit that one. Here we go. Brown with the steal. The three is up. Nails it from three. Stoudemire's got five points. This is a center that wants to take jump shots. Amari has major skill for a man of his size. The three from Wimbanyama. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Outside Irving. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Fires the three. The shot no good. And it's Miami's ball. Eight point game. Yeah, you know, one thing about being a great scorer, you draw a lot of defensive attention. And there, Irving takes advantage by finding an open teammate. Here's Isaac. Misses off the right iron. And here's the fast break. Pass to Brown. The three. The rebound by Simmons. To the inside. And now they decide to foul intentionally. 
first personal foul, third team foul. Here's Rice. There's a screen. Takes it inside. And he goes in for the dunk. We know Rice is a shooter, but he's got some athleticism, too. Showing you some force as well. Applying some pressure with that full court defense. Yep, going with the most grueling kind of defense. Oh, oh throw oh, it down. Oh, nice. Artistry and poetry in motion. Irving can create in the air as well as anybody. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. And there's a minute 45 left in the second period. To the middle. Here's Matumbo. Out of bounds. It'll be Miami's ball. To Miami. Yeah, just couldn't make the connection. But you appreciate their attempt at moving the ball. A minute 39 left in the second period. Now here's Irving. Over to the wing. Gilmore. That three's off the mark. Here's Isaac. And the dunk by Isaac. And, you know, Isaac is a high percentage shooter. Takes good shots and makes a good percentage of them. And he's very skilled at getting position to throw it down on you. Pass to Irving. Beyond the arc. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make them earn those points from deep. Don't give them to them free at the line. And he nails the third. Chicago with the ball. Leading by five. Pass to Isaac. Wimbanyama screen. Isaac's shot is off. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for Miami. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And Gilgis Alexander understands this team wants him to be aggressive on offense. Love watching him go to work. There's a screen. Down low. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive pass in the middle. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Here's Gilmore. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Playing with such brute force on the inside. Gilmore with the size and some pretty good moves, too. The three from Wimbanyama. Can't get it to drop. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The East All-Stars. Up three. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Here's Kirilenko. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Kirilenko's got six points. There's PG creating for a teammate. Terrific dime drop. Pass to Rice. Hits a three-pointer. Love the no hesitation shot release of Glenn Rice. You see the confidence he has, and for good reason. And that's an intentional foul. Glenn Rice, first personal foul, first team foul. Here's George. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three point play. Yeah, it's really hard to distract Paul George when he goes into a shot. I mean, even though the defense is there and made the obvious foul, doesn't seem to bother. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Grant. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. Embiid from outside. 
Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Wimpenyama with it. He's got five. Pass to Rice. For the tie. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's got 14. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. For the lead. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Paul George with a strong contribution so far in this one. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. Here's Rice. 14 points for him. Here's Wimanyama. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. 13 foul. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Really left him alone that time. Drexler's got nine. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Here's Rice. Inside. A tumbo. Defensive foul. Gets the bucket and the foul! That's on Joel Embiid. Dikembe Mutombo able to work through a tough foul and still get the shot up and down. George for three. Mutombo with a rebound. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. They set the pick. The three from Wimanyama. Knocks down the long J. And it's a three point Miami lead. Yeah, you've got to worry about Wimbenyama everywhere. He puts a defense to the test. And here they come. And the dunk by Wimbenyama. Transition basketball. The most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Personal foul. Fourth team foul. Right around three minutes into this second half. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. To the paint. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. That was clearly a forced pass. There was no room for him to make it. Outside for Wimbanyama. Pass to Rice. Just five to shoot. Here's Miller. Good. And the assist to Wimbanyama. As a rookie, Miller is already a three-level score. To halt the run. Back to George. Screen by Embiid. And the jam by George. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Ooh, nice shot by Miller. Miller's got five points. Love the confidence from this young man. Miller's so quick off the catch. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. That's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, 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 oh. 
and that's creativity. Gilgis Alexander continues to amaze. George drives in. And George with the jam. And just a crafty move to get free for the dunk. Now, he's not just trying to score. He's trying to embarrass someone. Yeah, he was one step ahead of him the entire way. Gilgis Alexander feeling it out a bit. To the right side. Six to shoot. And it's Kirilenko with a rebound. Pass to Eden. Boom! He jams it straight down. Ooh, that's a tough spot to be in as a defender. With that height disadvantage, it's very hard to protect the rim. Here's Irving. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Miami leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. What has them in front? And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Report from Ali. Well, over the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers huddle, and he was adamant that they need to tighten up their D. That lack of communication at that end has led to breakdowns, wide open shooters, and easy buckets. He sounded pretty frustrated, guys. All right, appreciate it, Ali. Pass to Wimanyama. Tries again. It's stolen by Wimanyama, and he's all alone. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Yeah, such a difficult frame to guard. Wimbenyama draws the foul easily. Well, it's not hard to get excited about what Wimbenyama could potentially bring to the league, Grant. Yeah, I mean, possibly some of the biggest hype we've seen, B.A. Unreal ball skills at 7'4", and he's got that drive to be the greatest. And there's a pick. Back to Wimanyama. Shot clock at six. Well, Victor doesn't have too far to go. I mean, he just pops up to the rim, makes it look so easy. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. From deep, here's Simmons. Knocks down the triple. Simmons has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. Here's Rice. Driving to the basket. And there's the rejection. Here's the break. Basket counts. Now it's a seven-point Miami lead. Wade, that time, just ran away from the pack. Tremendous speed. Here's Rice. Off the mark there with a three. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. The three from Wimbanyama. Sinks it from distance. Wimbenyama's got seven points here in the quarter. The refined jumper of Wimbenyama. You just never see that in a man of his height. Putting some extra juice on that tomahawk, fellas. No one is going to stop that. Man, when he's coming in with that level of force, that's just too much right there. I'll tell you what, fellas, you cannot throw it down any harder than that. That was a rim rattle. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Just a 
about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. From the arc. A nice shot by Rice. And Miami leads by 13. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle statue for Miami. I mean, those swats. <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. And the defense has been disrupted, forcing turnovers, challenging shots. The turnovers they've been able to turn into points, too. Here's Rice. Pass to Wimanyama. Here's Rice. For three. The rebound by Ben Simmons. On the wing, Isaac. Over to the left wing. From deep, here's Simmons. Pure from three-point range. Simmons has got six in the quarter. Tell you what, this is big for Simmons' confidence. His coaches and teammates want him to keep shooting from the outside. Makes him a much more dangerous player. Here's Rice. Wimbanyama screen. Down low. Here's Matumbo. Oh, it's blocked by Wimbanyama. It's stolen. Here's Matumbo. Pass to Wade. Here's Rice. Wimbanyama screen. Puts up a deep three. Rice's shot is off. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Now Simmons. This one for three. He connects! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Hey, when the game is tight and snug, Simmons rises to the occasion, effortlessly capitalizing when his team desperately needs him to do so. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Wimanyama. Six on the shot clock. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation is the buzzer sound. Here's Rice. Offline. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. Just a gutsy performance on the road. It really was.